Now, the Snake Island Free Integrated Zone, the home of Niger Dock, is home to some 6,000 workers at the peak of its operations. But that is changing as Nigeria's economy runs into troubled waters in 2016. In an exclusive interview with Channels Business News, the group executive chairman of Jagao PLC, the operator of the Free Zone Island, Anwa Jamakani, says reassurance of support from has been received from some government agencies. Let's listen. We thank you very much for speaking with us. I'm going to ask you the question, how much in dollar investments have you put on this Niger Talk Snake Island Free Trade Zone facility? We came into Snake Island after the acquisition of Niger Talk, after the privatization program in 2003. From 2003 to date, we have invested in excess of 500 million U.S. dollars in this facility which you have just toured. And we employ in the region of 6,000 people on this facility in four areas, logistics, fabrication, the shipyard, and our training academy. In terms of the projects that you've executed here, talk to us about some of them. Uh, our largest investment has been in the area of fabrication. And in fabrication, we have done projects for Shell, Chevron, ExxonMobil and Total, to name a few. Those projects ranged anything from $50 million to close to a $1 billion in fabrication, in logistic, and in warehousing. In order to achieve these milestones, there was an investment program that started back in 2003. And over those years, in order to bring ourselves up to the international standards, to be able to perform to the international standards of this industry, it required that quality of investment. So the investment went into our fabrication facility, into our, the training of our people, and into the training academy that has graduated in excess of 6,000 Nigerians over the last 12 years. The other investments went into our logistics and services facility and in the upgrade of our shipyard uh, uh, repair and maintenance facility, where we now repair and maintain ships for around West Africa and not only for Nigerian ship owners. But of course, I'm sure one of the main projects you're working on here is the Agena project. Talk to us about this multi-million dollar project. Agena project is the actually is the last project we are working on as we speak today. But I would like to take you back to 2003 and we will come to Agena project. In 2003, we worked with Shell on the Bonga main project. And we worked with Shell for a period of three years for the completion of the Bonga Main, where the entire Bonga Main logistics and support services was carried out from Snake Island, from the deep water center you just uh, visited. After that, we did projects for mobile oil. Thereafter, we did work for uh, Chevron. And, the last, and then we did the Ofon project for Total which was commissioned in, in November 2016. Today, the only project remaining under completion is that of Egina. Egina FPSO was awarded to Samson Ladol. And the fabrication of the Egina project is mainly done on Snake Island by Niger Dock. And as you look to this side, you will see that all this fabrication work relates to the Egina FPSO. Of course, it's unfortunate, most unfortunate, that some of the other fabrication work done by other companies, I believe uh, Nest Oil is one of them uh, in Port Harcourt. Some of this work were done in Port Harcourt and sent to Korea for integration in Korea. And 
What we are doing will come to an end by about April and May, April, May this year. So in other words, the entire fabrication of the Egina FPSO is mainly done on, by Niger Dock on Snake Island. The Nigerian economy has been really tough yes. in the last one year. Does it affect you here, uh, this uh, free trade zone? Uh, it's been quite negative to our industry, but we accept this is not only a Nigeria problem, but a worldwide problem for the industry. But just because Nigeria, uh, we've not invested enough into our future, Nigeria is paying a heavier price for where we are today. In terms of work for our free zone and for our company, we are uh, quite uh, affected by lack of work. And we have came down from 6,000 people, manpower strength, to under 3,000. And these 3,000 will lose their jobs by May, as we have actually no further jobs. Um, we have brought this, obviously, to the attention of NAPIMS and NNPC. I was very, very pleased to see the GMD of NNPC and executive members of NNPC and NAPIMS took a tour of uh, Snake Island in November last year. And uh, the managing director of NNPC, Dr. Baru, was overwhelmed by what he saw and the quality of work and the capacity that exists here. And he has promised that they will be doing their best to make sure we have a continuity of work so that we do not lose the talent that we have developed over the years in this fantastic facility. If you look at Nigeria, there are different free trade zones. So what is the difference? What is the competition, for example, between uh, your facility on the Nebza and the one in Orne in Port Harcourt, uh, which is called the oil and gas free zone uh, area? Snake Island is a privately funded free zone. Uh, Snake Island, Niger Dock are a Jagal energy companies. And the investment done in Niger Dock and in Snake Island infrastructure is our money. Uh, it is unfortunate that uh, you talk about the Oni free zone. There is the Ogvza free zone that is involved with Oni. And the competition between us and them is um, an open market and we believe in competition but uh, as you probably are aware recently there are challenges ongoing where a bill is being promoted to be passed that compromises the open free and commercial trade zones to uh, more or less if passed if such a bill is passed, it actually compromises Nigeria as a country. Our well, business morning continues after now. Stay with us.